Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with Linksys. Today's hosts are Mark Sarver. He is the Director of Sales in North America, and we also have Taylor McCluskey, Sales Executive, and they are both presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and Mark or Taylor can answer them for you. You guys, thank you so much for being here with me today and with uh, Microcom Technologies. We greatly appreciate it. Looking forward to what you have to share. I am finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Yeah, that's great, Julie. Thanks very much for the introduction and uh, nice to hopefully see you all in person one of these days, but nice to meet you uh, via webinar here today. So as Julie mentioned, uh, my name is Mark Sarver. I'm Director of Sales here at Linksys and joining me is the man that does everything. Uh, his name is Taylor McCluskey. Um, he runs our uh, sales organization inside uh, and out, and he's a tremendous resource for you guys moving forward. So Taylor, you wanna just say hello real quick to the group? Hey, nice to meet everyone. I know we can't see each other, but one day we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So guys, today what we're gonna really focus on, um, as I've been asked to present, is really uh, a new product for you guys. So. Linksys and Microcom are kind of starting a relatively newer partnership. We started with a certain product categories I'll talk about a little bit, but today we're really gonna focus in on our cloud controlled access points um, and specifically our Wi-Fi 6 access points as we get into it. But before I get into the, the technology side of things, I think it's helpful just to take a quick minute and make sure we're all on the same page when it comes to um, who we're talking about, right? So the good news is, is when you are talking to your customers and selling them, uh, Linksys itself is one of the uh, best unaided brand awareness brands out in networking today. So typically your customers are going to already understand and know the brand and be aware of it. And what we do have is a 30 plus year legacy of providing globally leading products um, on a global footprint. Um, and more recently, we've added some additional and new exciting news. Uh, for example, we have a new investment partner in Fortinet, which brings us into enterprise class and enterprise level security products moving forward. We can talk more about that in the presentation. Um, and we've also onboarded an entirely new product team that is leading our product a strategy on the software side into what they're gonna call, call cognitive technology. And it's kind of an AI approach to how the products are gonna be interacting with our customers moving forward. So very excited about kind of the direction we're going as a company, and we can certainly do answer more in Q&A on that. What we have really in our commercial lineup today are three major product categories. We started with Microcom specifically in our unmanaged switch solutions. So that's everywhere from five to 24 port uh, products that we have there. Um, this middle section you see on the slide is what we're gonna focus on today. Um, and we're gonna add uh, through David support, our new kind of cloud managed um, Wi-Fi 6 access point. Um, we'll talk more about that. Um, with one of the, the premium features being is our, our lifetime cloud management license um, that we'll talk specifically about. And the third category of products is really kind of more of a future direction of where we believe the micro office and SMB markets are going. Um, and that's going to make routers a more and more impactful product category moving into this space moving forward. And I think that's a, that's a discussion for a future webinar. So we'll talk about that. From a technology standpoint, where this ends up in the stack, just so again to level set everybody, um, we're sitting here today in really the sweet spot of where the Wi-Fi market is. So Wi-Fi, for those of us who've been around for a while, uh, go all the way back to the uh, you know late 90s with the B technologies, and certainly we've moved into this year uh, with the mainstream product category is now Wi-Fi 6. Um, 6E is out there and produced. Um, there are new uh, technologies and new products coming out from Apple and Samsung. They're going to support that, but it's really kind of an early adopter phase of that. And then at the towards the end of this year, Wi-Fi 7 will be coming out. And again, we can talk about that more at a later time. Um, this is our best in class, if you will, Wi-Fi 6 cloud managed access point. So the part number is up at the top there. It's our LAPAX 3600C. It is an AX 3600 quad band um, access point features two gigabit ports, PoE plus with the 24 watt max consumption. Um, and again, we'll talk about cloud. What, what makes a lot of our products so well liked um, and respected by our customers is we do not do things like open source on chipsets or components. Everything we use is enterprise level Qualcomm chipsets, radios, uh, all the different components that go into it. 
Um, as a result, we're able to offer one of the industry leading five year warranties, uh, and we have full lifetime support across all of our products. Um, the other thing that does make us unique in the access point side, which is very applicable when you start getting in the government space, is all of our access points are TAA compliant. Um, and actually that falls across our switches as well. So any of our commercial level products today are all TAA compliant if you have customers that sit in the federal space. Um, our tech support is known as one of the best in the business. Um, it is complimentary for the life of our products. Um, we do have dedicated technical support lines for yourselves as well as our business clients that come in. Um, staffed with CCNA certified uh, techs, and you can kind of see the times there that's available uh, towards the bottom of the slide. Uh, and going into it, you know, one of the things I like to kind of level set on usually as we talk about these is who are we selling to? Who are these products really going into? Um, you know, a lot of this is going into micro office space. Today in the U.S. market, 50% of all U.S. employees work in an office environment of 15 employees or less. So it's a major opportunity for us to bring these products in uh, and what goes on. Um, you've got things like small retail shops. You've got regional hotels. And one of the things that all of these more SMB focused clients have and from a challenge standpoint is they have very limited resources. Um, they're typically trying to expand locations. Um, they really don't know a whole lot about data security or how to protect themselves from it. Um, for the most part, they don't really have any in-house IT, right? So they really rely on companies like ourselves to really offset that with how our products work, how they get integrated into it, and then how our support works moving forward. So that's really what I kind of talk about more. And when you talk about managing a network like that from an SMB standpoint, you've got some options, right? So one of your options is you can manage it locally. So you're inside the building, you can do it access point by access point, you can cluster them, you can do more unique things that software based all within that facility. But typically that is not sustainable for an SMB market because again, there is no IT support person working on site. So they're usually looking for ways they can do things more remotely. Um, one of those options is hardware controller based. Our friends at the big U word uh, client that's in that market and access point market uh, is heavy into that, right? They introduce hardware controllers and you requires those on site for them to really work within those areas. Um, and then the loud, the loud, the, the last section here is um, really ideally where everybody wants to go. So this is a cloud based support where you can have a single pane of glass, you can manage multiple APs. You can manage them across multiple sites. And our friends at Cisco and other parties uh, all charge a nice monthly fee in order to do those types of things, which is kind of the preferred method, right? So introducing for us uh, is our cloud manager platform. Um, this again is a cloud-based Wi-Fi management platform. Um, it is very intuitive, very easy to use. Uh, even users like myself who are not IT experts can come in and do that. Um, you can manage multiple sites. You can create multiple companies within those sites. Um, and you can do easy zero touch deployments. And I'll kind of talk about that as I get into this. It is fully scalable. You can literally have thousands of access points all built into this, this one stop solution or single pane of glass that comes in. So sharing with you guys kind of what, what goes into that. Um, this is really just meant to kind of show you what the logins look like, what this cloud-based software looks uh, like. And this is really where you start as a user. So you buy one of our Wi-Fi access points, bring the product in a house. You'll go to this website, business.linksys.com. It'll give you a login page. You simply log in uh, onto the site, as this is slowly outlining. And then you can create your own networks. Um, you can create multiple companies, which you kind of see um, as the example here, where this example has three different sites, right? They've got one in Philadelphia, one in Seattle, one in LA. Um, and then you can see that you can see how many clients within each site are online. You can see what kind of traffic is happening right away from the get go as soon as you log into it. From there, you can actually zoom out um, and you can do map views. So you can kind of see all of your sites at once. You can see what's happening. You can see if the site's down you can actually trigger alerts that will come in. It will let you know if your sites are up or down or if you're having problems in different areas. And you can fully control and customize what that traffic looks like and how that works. You also get a dashboard view. So you can go in, you can control what those users have in terms of bandwidth, who can access it. Am I gonna make this password protected? Am I gonna leave it open for 
any of my customers that come in they want to log in without a password it, it's very very easy to use very customizable um, all coming into our cloud software um, again you have multiple views of how the access points look um, if you want to add a new access point um, into that environment or somewhere else you simply click the blue button in the top right hand corner and you can automatically just enter in the codes at the bottom of the access point it will load it up you can then ship it to the location they can put it in the ceiling or on the wall plug it in uh, via a poe based switch or they can plug it in uh, via power supply and that that access point will automatically come up on this single pane of glass you'll see it and you'll see it's active and it automatically loads up with what's going on kind of describe that um, again, you can fully set your client access and bandwidth, and you can block clients as you need to, and you have full control over what's happening with your access points here in the market. Um, you can also set any notifications. So if the network goes down, if there's a problem, you can have an email you, text you, lots of different options that go if you're the one that's ultimately responsible for kind of managing all these access points around the market today. Um, and really just overall, it's it's one of the best in class cloud managers. But the best part about what happened with our cloud manager, what it does offer is unlike Cisco and others that can offer or can feature, I should say, uh, monthly access fees, right? This is a favorite, uh, uh, favorite go-to-market strategy, I'll say, of some of our competitors. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, resellers that are out there and a lot of clients that are out there are really getting feed to death these days. Everything is kind of going to a lease model. Uh, everything has a monthly uh, fee associated with it. And the best part about our software-based client that I just showed you all today is not only does it have all the features, not only can you do zero touch provisioning, not only can you do multi-site management, all of this is available at no monthly fee, no monthly charge. So it is included upfront in the price of the product and it is good for the lifetime of the product. And Julie, that was kind of it for the presentation. I wanted to leave some extra time that we could have some Q&A and talk to the group. Oh, did we lose Julie? Hello, thank you guys. Uh, no Thank problem. you for that wonderful presentation. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some great questions for you guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First question. Um, are there any mobile applications or interfaces available for managing and monitoring the access points? Yeah, in fact, that's that's really the feature of our cloud uh, of our cloud controller, right? So you can literally log in from anywhere. You can see your dashboard from anywhere. Um, so as you're traveling around or if you're mobile for whatever reason, you can automatically log in, see exactly what's happening on any of your sites. You have all the full features um, that were described all the way across the board, all available to you in a mobile format. Excellent, thank you so much. Next question here for you. How does the licensing or subscription model work for the cloud controlled access points? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and the best answer of all of this one is there is no licensing needs for the for the software itself. Um, you literally out of the box have a software tool available to you that is limitless. You can literally add thousands of access points um, if that's where you scale your business model to. You can also create an, an unlimited number of businesses or regions or entities or however you want to organize your ecosystem of access points that are out there. It really is limitless. There are no licenses. There are no fees. Everything is included right out of the box at no additional cost. That sounds fantastic. Anyone should be thrilled for this. Um, thank you. Um, I'm going to go on with a few more questions. Um, can you explain the reporting and analytics capabilities offered by the cloud controlled access points? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you look at, I was trying to see if I had some of these screenshots. So, you know, right out of the gate, you're going to see what the traffic looks like. So you can find from any given area that you have exactly what sort of traffic is happening within that, that area, um, how much is hitting it, when there's peak moments and times up or down. You also have full control through the access points to control. There's multiple things you can do. One is you can control, uh, there's a band optimization control. 
So you can actually control whether or not users drop to either a five gigahertz band or a 2.4 gigahertz band. Um, so if you have kind of environment where you want to prioritize a certain part of your network to make sure your mission critical apps are, are up and running, you can lock those in in the five gigahertz band and you can, for example, just open up the 2.4 gigahertz band to your customers. So it's very customizable in how you can kind of control the access points to make sure that both customers and the site itself are able to maximize the full capabilities of that Wi-Fi 6 access point. Um, but really it's, it's you know, anything you want to do, this, this does feature those in. I don't know if I had, a, I don't really have a list per se, I don't believe in this. Um, but hopefully that answers your question. If you had something more specific, uh, I'll be happy to answer that as well. Okay, thank you. Yes, if the audience members type in anything further on that, uh, of course, I will bring that up for you. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to continue on with some more questions from the audience. Uh, here we go. How does the cloud control feature handle high density environments with a large number of access points? Yeah, so again, you're, it's limitless in terms of the number of access points that you can have. From there, you monitor each access point. You sort of see what's going on. And one of the best things or features of this is you can actually over time determine hotspots in your area. So you can realize if you need to add additional Wi-Fi access points into a certain area. Um, if you've got you know, one side, you can actually show you where to move access points and place access points. So you know, the, the software itself, just by monitoring the traffic and the loads and what's happening at different times of day even, really helps you put these in the best possible locations and, and you know, helps you determine how many access points you need ultimately for space over time as you get to see what your different traffic levels are. Um, you know, if you get into some of these uh, small office environments, let's say it's a media house and they're doing a lot of streaming for different reasons and things of that sort, it can really help you optimize what the streaming levels are, how they work, and you can give them access to higher levels of streams or you can block users if you need to. You can block access to certain websites. All those features are all available through the software. Excellent, thank you guys so much. Couple more questions. Can you give us an overview of the warranties of uh, your hardware? Yes, so if you look at, uh, well, first of all, what we're kind of talking about today is our access points. Those do feature a five-year warranty on all of the access points. Um, they do feature unlimited support for the life of the product um, from a customer service standpoint, but should anything happen within that five-year time frame? we will take care of any problems that come up. Excellent, thank you so much. Next question here. What kind of performance monitoring and optimization features are available with Linksys cloud controlled access points? Yeah, so you kind of see on some of the examples here, you know, speed of traffic and throughput and things that are going on. Um, our switches, which you guys are also selling, do have quality of service controls. So. Through the switches, you can sort of control um, your different access points based on some of the different, whatever ports you have things plugged into. Um, one of the things that we've been kind of talking with Microcom about a little bit is our managed switches. Um, if you do go into those, which is, we refer to them as our LGS3 series, um, you can really control what kind of traffic goes to each access point. So a lot of that is really managed at the switch level. Whereas the access points themselves, they do again feature some, some you know, technical qualities where you can control which part of the radio different devices have access to. And all of that is through the cloud software, you can see exactly what the results are in your traffic speeds. Excellent, thank you so much, guys. Uh, next question, if um, someone is not sure exactly what they need or how much product they need, can they go to your website and sort of figure it out? Or do you have someone that they should touch base with? Um, what, do you, um, uh, what do you suggest? No, it's a great question. And, and unfortunately, we do not have an online configurator that really kind of looks at density. Um, one of the reasons is, is they tend to be very problematic because it, it really depends a lot on the structure of the building. Uh, brick walls are very different from, you know, your typical drywall wall in terms of radio and access points. So if you're really going to do a true, what we would call a heat map process, where you really look at the building itself, how many access points do you need? Where do those need to go? You're really going to want to have a, third, a true third party 
come in and do that. We certainly do have third parties that we work with and we can make recommendations for you. Um, they are available across the country. So regionally, we can help direct you anywhere you need to go with those. And there are national versions of folks that go in and do that. It is cost effective. There's not a, a huge upcharge for those guys go in and do a heat map access, but it's really hard. And, and you gotta be careful with web-based configurators because you start taking into account uh, you know, the different devices that exist on site, what the wall makeups are. There's just so many different factors that go in. Um, it's really hard for a kind of a general configurator to really give you a great idea. Excellent. Thank you so much for that. Um, and again, if, if this is um, uh, sort of similar, but if anyone wants customer service or tech support, uh, I would imagine we could go to your website and find that as well, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, from a microcom standpoint, if you guys have questions or issues, certainly feel free right. to reach out directly to myself or Taylor, right? You've, you've got us here in the building that can reach out to anybody we need to get you to and get you that kind of access. We also do have um, a website that is an internet site that we can get you guys all access to that will give you more of a chat-based support and reach out to us, which a lot of folks do like that. But certainly, uh, Taylor and I are available to you at any point in time. We can bring on additional resources in the company to support you guys. So what I don't want you guys doing is calling an 800 number and sitting in support. Um, you guys are a very valued partner of ours. We consider you a tier one. So our preference is actually reach out to us directly if you're running into problems or issues and let us address those with you directly. Excellent. I'll make sure to always have your number on hand in case anyone asks for it for the various reasons that you know they may have. So yes, thank you for that. Uh, we've got a couple more questions here for you. Um, can you tell us where your products are manufactured? Yeah, they're primarily manufactured in Taiwan, which is what allows them to be TAA compliant. Um, we bring them in and then of course we warehouse them here uh, in Indianapolis uh, for us from a warehouse standpoint, but they're all based out of Taiwan from a manufacturing standpoint. Excellent. And I'm uh, guessing that uh, since um, the flow of product and shipping has not been an issue lately, is that the same for you guys? Everything's coming through without any any problems or any huge delays? Yeah, great question. Two years ago, I think we all lived through the nightmare of not being able to get any products. And the good news is we placed some large bets at the time and we have a significant amount of inventory ready to go. So we have inventory ready to support your needs and look forward to working with you guys in any volume opportunities you have. We'll be able to fill those immediately. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Woo! Yeah, we all remember started. that. Yeah. It, yes, things are getting yeah. better. Thank goodness, right? Thank you. For sure. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you guys so much for answering all of those questions for us today and also thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar and if anyone does have any further questions please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com and if you wish to view any of the products mentioned or shown today please remember that this presentation has been recorded and loaded to our microcom youtube channel uh probably later today so you can view it again anyone can view it again that's the great part about these um uh mark and uh taylor thank you so much i'm going to reach out to you guys so we can do this again in a couple of months and see what we go what we have going on at that time and uh at, with that i'm going to say everybody have a fantastic day thank you so much for joining our webinar Thank you, everyone. Appreciate you all much. the interactive questions as well. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.